Our coverage of Colorado begins with a health scare affecting thousands of patients at Porter Adventist Hospital. A month after the problem first surfaced, people are still coming forward sharing their concerns. The hospital notified patients about a sterilization problem that was back in April. Nearly 6,000 people might have been exposed to hepatitis B or C or HIV. Our Rick Salinger at Porter this evening. Rick, one man tells you he was left cut open on the operating table four hours because of this problem. Well, Jim, he was put under anesthesia, knocked out, and later woke up only to find out that his operation hadn't been completed. John Krasowski has quite a story to tell. In early April, he went into Porter Hospital for back surgery. They opened him up. Then his surgeon discovered a yellowish-brown stain on the surgical instruments. He made the decision. He called the hospital administration and made the decision to abort the surgeries. He says he was on the operating table at least four hours until he woke up afterwards asking, Did everything go okay? How'd it go? What was up? Is there anything wrong? And they refused to tell me. He says he later learned there was a substance discovered on two sets of instruments. And once I learned that there was contaminated stuff there scared the hell out of me. The hospital's chief medical officer said bone or tissue had been previously found on some instruments, but in other cases, the yellowish brown substance was tested and found to be harmless mineral deposits. The staff that was specific to orthopedics and spine, um, their, their pre-cleaning processes were just not as robust. But Krasowski's lawyers point out patients receive warnings covering surgeries that go back further. Porter already knew that they were having problems with sterilization of their instruments. Krasowski finally got his operation done somewhere else. I think I'm progressing like I'm supposed to progress. We received his written permission to discuss his case with the hospital, but it said it doesn't want to discuss specific cases. It again points out it believes the residue on the surgical instruments was safe and that it stopped all surgeries for a while after that as a precaution. Live at Porter Hospital, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First.